If you have a physical disability or health condition that affects your ability to walk safely, or have a hidden illness such as dementia, autism or Parkinson's, you may be able to get a blue badge to help you park closer to the places you want to go. A blue badge holder traveling either as a driver or a passenger can park for free in disabled parking bays and may also be exempt from other parking restrictions. There are currently more than 235,700 blue badge holders living in Scotland and in many cases, people will automatically qualify for the £20 parking permit. This includes those on the higher level of the Mobility Rate for Personal Independence Payment PIP, Adult Disability Payment ADP, Child Disability Payment CDP, and Disability Living Allowance DLA. However, the Scottish Government has published a comprehensive list of circumstances which could see people with walking issues or parents caring for a disabled child, qualify for a blue badge. Applications for a blue badge can be made online, however the guidance advises that people with a mental condition need to contact their local council directly. It states, if you have a mental condition that means you lack awareness about the danger of traffic, you cannot apply online. You should phone your local council's blue badge team for a paper application form. The guidance also advises that those who do not automatically qualify for the blue badge scheme may need to have a mobility assessment and a meeting with a healthcare professional. It's also worth noting that there is no set processing time for new applications or blue badge renewals, but it can take around 12 weeks. Your local council processes blue badge applications and sets the price, they will also be able to advise on how long it might take. Below is a brief overview of the blue badge application process. Full details can be found on MyGov. Scott here. Blue Badge Automatic Qualification You will automatically qualify for a blue badge in Scotland if you are under 16 and have a letter confirming your eligibility from your visual impairment care team are 16 or over and registered or certified as severely sight impaired get the higher rate of the mobility component of DLA get PIP and score 8 points or more in the moving around area of your assessment get PIP and scored 12 points in the planning and following a journey area of your assessment get PIP and use to get the higher rate of the mobility component of DLA on an indefinite or lifetime basis get PIP, use to get the higher rate of the mobility component of DLA, and your PIP decision is being appealed get ADP and have been awarded either 8 points or more in the moving around activity or 12 points in the planning and following a journey activity or enhanced rate mobility without reference to points get the higher rate of the mobility component of child disability payment get war pensioners mobility supplement got a lump sum payment from tariffs 1 to 8 of the armed forces compensation scheme and have been certified as having a permanent and substantial disability other people who may qualify for a blue badge if you are not automatically eligible you may be able to get a blue badge in certain circumstances if you have a substantial disability lasting at least 12 months that means you cannot walk at all have a substantial disability lasting at least 12 months that means you're virtually unable to walk regularly drive and cannot use parking meters because of a severe disability in both arms are responsible for a child under three years old who needs to be kept close to a vehicle for medical treatment are responsible for a child under three years old who uses bulky medical equipment that cannot be carried around have a mental health condition that means you lack awareness about the danger of traffic when making journeys where can I park with my blue badge you can use your blue badge to park in certain restricted areas for free including at on street parking meters in pay and display bays in disabled parking spaces on single and double yellow lines if there are no loading restrictions using your badge in other parts of the UK you can use your blue badge in most other countries if you're using your blue badge in England or Wales you will need to use a parking clock this comes with your blue badge 
The timer clock is a plastic dial with hands that can be adjusted to show the time of parking arrival. What do I need to apply? Applications are made online to your local council and you'll need a recent digital photo showing your head and shoulders, you can't take this picture yourself. You will also need a photo or scan of your proof of identity, such as a birth certificate, passport or driving license, proof of address such as a council tax bill or government letter, you can also choose to have your local council check the electoral register instead proof of benefits, if you get any you will also need to know, your national insurance number the details of your current blue badge, if you're reapplying once you apply, your local council will process your application and give you a decision. If your application is turned down your local council should tell you why you're not eligible. You can ask them to reconsider their decision if you think they haven't taken into account some important information. You can also reapply if your disability or health condition becomes more serious. Apply for a blue badge on the mygov.scot website here. Get the latest record money news join the conversation on our Money Saving Scotland Facebook group for energy and money saving tips, the latest benefits news, consumer help and advice on coping with the cost of living crisis. Sign up to our record money newsletter and get the top stories sent to your inbox daily from Monday to Friday, including a special cost of living edition on a Thursday, sign up here. You can also follow us on X, formerly Twitter, at recordmoney underscore for regular updates throughout the day. New, get our money news alerts on your phone by joining our daily record money WhatsApp community.